Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. How you doing, man? It's all right. Okay. Okay, so we're the children of Israel, okay? That's what we come out here to teach. Did you did you have any understanding of that before you came up today? Well, who did? Okay. George Floyd. Okay, give me uh, Baruch 4 and 25. Baruch chapter 4, verse 25. I got a scripture for you, sister. How much, how, how much time you got? Okay, okay, give me that, read that. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. So we need to suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon us from God. The reason why George Floyd situations are happening, the reason why all this stuff is happening is because we broke the commandments of God. You see what I'm saying? Read on. For thine enemy have persecuted thee. So that's what you're seeing. That's what you're seeing on, on TV, right? Bring that's what out. you're seeing in our communities. Right. I heard that in North Little Rock, an uh, uh, African-American got killed. A uh, so-called uh, African-American got killed. He's really an Israelite. Right. You right. see what I'm saying? Got killed right in North Little Rock very recently for, for protesting. You see what I'm saying? Read on. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction. Shortly we shall see the destruction of our enemies. Hey, you see what I'm right. saying? This Bible is the biggest revolution on planet Earth. That's you right. see what I'm saying? Uh, you, okay, so you see how the white man loves to make comeback stories, comeback movies, right? Right. This is the biggest comeback movie on planet Earth. That's us right. losing our heritage, losing our nationality, forgetting that God is for us, and then coming back to that and basically getting back on top. You see what I'm saying? All right, finish that out. But surely thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. So the George Floyd situation, eventually the shoe is going to be on the other foot. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's what we got to believe in. Okay? That's what we got to believe in. That's right. Bring it out. Yeah. Yes, please give me that. Revelation chapter 13. Yes, man. We have a school uh, off of the Proto Junction exit. Um, right in North Little Rock. Please come by and see us, okay? I've been uh, trying to read them Yes, ma'am. And I do feel like that really is us. It is, it is. Yes, ma'am. And I uh, don't go to follow the Christian religion. Listen, you you exactly right. That's right. You're going in the right direction. That's right. Do your research, understand that, because they gave you a flyer, right? Yeah, yeah. They did. Look, everything, no, 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 no. Uh, we're gonna read that. So, the, everything that we put on that flyer, you come to find out that we're not lying about right. nothing that we're right. talking about. Right. You see what I'm saying? We know this Bible. Right. The word on the street is that the Israelites know this Bible. That's right. You see what I'm saying? All right, read that real quick. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So, what is the Bible saying? The Bible is saying, because we all got ears, we really need to listen and meditate, marinate on what this next scripture is gonna say. Okay, read. He that led it into captivity. He that led it into captivity. Who led us into slavery? Who came and got us from the west coast of Africa? White folks, right? right. Read. Shall go into captivity. Shall, shall do what? Shall go into captivity. So that's what the Bible is really about. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're eventually going to go into captivity. Right. They're the ones that's going to 
Exactly, right. Read on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So, right. Because they killed us with the sword. They gun us down in the streets. Right. They're the ones that had a had a knee on our necks right. Right. for nine minutes. Right. You know what I'm saying? They take our lives. Eventually, the shoe is going to be on the other foot. Right. Okay? So, from there, go to... Um, Give me Deuteronomy 28. Because you said that you really believe that we the Israelites. I'm going to show you without a shadow of a doubt that we the Israelites. Hey. Today, you see what I'm saying? And if you don't forget, not, if you don't remember nothing else, remember that Deuteronomy 28 proves that we the Israelites. Okay? All right. All right give me Deuteronomy 28, 46. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder. So how do you know that this is Green Mountain right here? Because of the sign that shows that it's Green Mountain, right? Right. It's the same way with us. The bad things that are happening to us literally are, are, are identified that we're the children of God. You right. see what I'm saying? Go ahead, go ahead. I feel like the only thing that I got up this morning. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Give me Proverbs. About, uh, Uh, for some reason, I felt like he was an angel. Right. That counterfeit was sent down here to restore us. Right. Okay, I'm going to do one better than an angel. George Floyd was a god. Right. Right. I believe that. We are all gods. You see I what I'm saying? That. The Israelite man I is a god. You see what I'm That's saying? That's right. So read that real quick, and then we're going to get Psalms 82 and 6. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 24. Bring it out. Man's goings are of the Lord. So, man's and woman's goings are of the Lord. Right. So, you got up this morning. You didn't think that we'll be sitting right here, standing right here, teaching the word of God. You know what I'm saying? You just got off work, just so happened to pull up at the Easy Mart, and just so happened to see the prophet standing right here. Right. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, finish that out. How can a man then understand his own way? You can't understand it. God guided you to be right here. That's right. You see what I'm saying? You looking for the solutions? God gave you the solutions. All right. Read that. Psalms 82 and 6. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. Get out. I have said, ye are God. So the Bible calls us gods. You That's see right. what I'm saying? I didn't just make a blanketed statement. No, the I'm Bible thinking. calls us gods. Right. You see what I'm saying? But read. And all of you are children of the most high. Uh -huh. But ye shall die like men. So we are dying like men. Why? Because we refuse to keep God's law. Uh, Verse 48. That's right. And I, yeah, I, I've always thought that we were God's children. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're going to read this for you right now. What you just quoted. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemy. So this people on this sign, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians will serve our enemies today. We will serve the so-called white man. And what's funny is, is that it calls them enemies. You see that? The Bible calls the so-called white man our enemies. Right. It's always been that way from the beginning. You see right. what I'm saying? All right, read on. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. That's the part that we really don't understand. That the Most High God sent them against us. Right. The so-called white man is not such a great nation, straight, great, strong, and mighty nation that they can right. come to the West Coast of Africa and defeat us in battle and have us in slavery for 400 years. And it was only a couple of them and 400 of us on a plantation. And we didn't do nothing. It's because the fear of God was... The, we had lost everything that made us a great people, right. and we had decided, okay, I want to do my own thing, so God said, oh, I'm going to send your enemies against you. Right. You see what I'm saying? All right, we don't. In hunger! So, in hunger. So, who owns the Kroger, the Walmarts? White folks. White folks. So, that's the in hunger. That's what that's going into. Right. We don't own, or we don't control the food that we eat today. See. You see what I'm saying? We don't control McDonald's, or Burger King, or Chick-fil-A. You see what I'm saying? Read on. And in thirst. So at this Easy Mart, they sell Sprite, Coca-Cola, Dasani water, Aquafina. We don't control our water source or our drinks. We don't control that. The, our enemies control that. Okay? Read on. And in nakedness. What's your name? I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. Jackie Johnson. Jackie Johnson. I'm Ezekiel. Okay? So it says, and in nakedness. So the clothes on our back, we don't control that. You right. see what I'm saying? Then when you get down to it, we put cotton for 400 years, right? Bring it out! But we don't have a free cotton t-shirt or anything like that. 
to show for it. Right, right. No reparations, none of that. But what's funny is God is telling you that there will be reparations. Right. right. There will be reparations. Right. In the end, okay, read on. And in one of all no. things. It says in one of all things. So when you want a marriage certificate, who do you have to go to? Yeah. Right, which is controlled by who? Right, but by your enemies. When you want a driver's license, when you want a death certificate, you have to go to your enemies, right? right. You see what I'm saying? When you want an education, you have to go to your enemies, okay? So read on. And he! So it's getting more specific about this enemy, all right? Read. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So who put this yoke of iron on our neck? The white folks did it, proving that we're with the children of Israel and that white folks are not our friends. They are right. enemies according to the Bible. You see That's what I'm saying? Right. All right, read on. Until he had destroyed thee. So until we've been destroyed mentally as a nation of people, because we're still here, but we're destroyed. We call ourselves African American. You know what I'm saying? We don't keep God's laws at all. Ah. Yes. What you said is happy. It came from Leo Scipio's Africanus. Right. Same thing with America. America is by That's the name. Black. Okay, so all right, we we gonna get that because you said a lot of heavy stuff. Right. I know we lost who we are because of slavery and disobedience. Yes, ma'am. But um, let I, me. I just want to know. What my, uh, I don't feel like Christianity. Right? Christianity, no man. That is a, a servitude type of religion. Exactly. And I feel like we are greater people than they religion are. is another thing to where you would have to go and serve your enemies for that. We did right. that in slavery. So today, the, the modern day Christianity is the is not this Bible at all. Right. What they say is this image right here is the true image of Christ. That's what they right. say. Right. And then they say God loves everybody and forgive your enemies. Verse 64. Yeah, 64, sorry. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people uh -huh. from the one end of the earth even unto the other. So that's why you see black folks here in America, up in Canada, down in South America, all through Europe, all through Africa. Right. Right. We've been scattered, us as the Israelites, okay? Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods, uh -huh. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Because we did not know Christianity. We did right. not know Islam. Right. We didn't know those things. Read. Even wood and stone. What's the wood? You exactly right. You exactly right. What's the stone? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's the cobblestone in Islam. You see what I'm saying? It's our people bow down to it seven times, walk around it and all of that. God said that that's a curse. Right. We are actually not supposed to be worshiping that wood and stone. Right. We, our people need to get out of the Christian church ASAP. Right. ASAP. Right. ASAP. Verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So we will go into slavery again. Because what was we doing in Egypt? We were slaves in Egypt. That's right. You're right. exactly right. Read that real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse 6. Yep. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So, Egypt is synonymous with bondage. You see what I'm saying? All right, go back to that. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So, like, I was, like you was just saying, we were slaves in Egypt. So when you think of the word Egypt, it's gonna mean slavery or bondage. That's in the audience uh, that Moses is speaking to. We understood that we're gonna go back into slavery again. But how? How do we get on this side of of the world? By ships, right? That's in the Bible. Read on. With ships. So we will go back into slavery, but this time with ships. Hold that sign up for me, brother. Officer Zamar. Hold that sign up for me, real quick. So we were scattered from one end of the earth into the other. Right. And then we were sold on ships. That happened to us, clearly. My sister, over there in the vehicle. That happened to us, right? Right. All right, get us that out. By the way, we're up, I speak unto thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So we will be sold to our enemies, the so-called right. white men. 
This is Bible prophecy. When this was being written out, this was over 3,000 years ago when we were in the wilderness in Egypt. You see what I'm saying? This was prophecy. Now it's history. Right. Because we literally see uh, movie shows, documentaries about stuff like this all the time. Us going into slavery on ships. Right. God had it documented in the Bible thousands of years before it happens. Right. You see what I'm saying? Let's finish it out. For bond men, but slave men, and bond women, uh -huh. and no man shall buy you. Nobody will be able to save us. Not Martin Luther King, no. not Malcolm X, no. right. not Marcus Garvey. Right. All these men try, they but try. It's, in, it's not until we keep the commandments of God and Christ the Black Messiah comes and cracks his sky, that's when we'll be delivered. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.